Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about creating Azure AI services, how to secure it using AD, as well as using Key Vault and creating alerts to monitor it. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go and create an Azure resource group. And then in that resource group, search for Azure AI services. and create it. We'll give it a name. And the pricing tier is standard. And this is just gonna be based off of requests. Uh, we, if you want, you can look at the full pricing, but it's free just to kind of have the service running. It's the requests that are gonna add up. You can specify specific networks as well as disable it. So no networks outside of this can access this resource. So you can only use private endpoints and things like that. I will be showing how to specify just allowing like my network in uh, in just a little bit. The next thing you can do is also assign it identities so that the Azure services can be used in accessing things like Key Vault or other services uh, using those identities. And you can add tags to specify it, what these services are gonna be used for. And the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just create it. All right, so the service is created. And as we can see, it allows us to hit quite a few different AI services based off of just this one endpoint here. So using just that endpoint and a key from the keys, I'm able to access the language, speech services, vision, document intelligence, as well as uh, I'll need this if I wanted to run it in containers. So how do we kind of secure this beast? So the first one is it's kind of secured out of the box with when you hit this endpoint, you also need to send in a key. So if you do decide to kind of go the key route, the, it does give you two keys. And the suggestion is to rotate those keys uh, every so often. And you can see that by just using this endpoint here and passing in the keys, you're able to access these services. But I'm going to show how you can use Azure AD to do the authentication as well. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do there is go out to Entra, go to app registrations, go to new registration. And here we can just type in a new registration and leave it just as the single tenant for now and click register. And that's going to create a new app registration. And here we're gonna eventually need the client ID, tenant ID, as well as creating a client secret. So you'll wanna copy those three values or have them handy. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do so you have that AD group is go into your Azure resources and you're gonna to wanna to limit the, the, the scope of that or give that AD group or, or app registration access to the Azure Cognitive Searches or Azure, Cognitive, Azure AI services. So to do that, you'll wanna go into your Azure resource, go to your access control, click add, add role, and in here, you can just search for cognitive service. And we're gonna to wanna to add cognitive service user. Click next. And when we look for members, if we type in over here, we'll look for demo. That's our app registration that we just built. And we'll select it, review it, and assign it. So now that AD or that app registration has access to our Azure AI services. Cool, what's next? The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is in our resource group, we're gonna to wanna to create a key vault as well. And what that key vault's gonna allow us to do is store secrets so we can store those keys and things of that nature inside the key vault. Because this isn't a Key Vault video, I'm just gonna skip to the end and create it. All right, so we went back to the Azure Key Vault. What you may need to do is add yourself or give yourself permissions to uh, add things to the Key Vault. So to do that, you'll select your admin and then select you. And now you're added as an admin. You may or may not be able to do this depending on your environment. AI services key. 
So then I was able to add the AI services key and we'll be able to access that later in the demo. We have created our Azure AI services. We've created an app registration to be used and we have you or we've also set up the key vault. So those are the three core concepts we need to start accessing some of this stuff with different as aspects of uh, authentication. And we have a demo here of doing a couple different things. So if you pull down the code base, you'll, you'll be able to, you'll want to add these uh, six values to your uh, .env file. And those are gonna allow you to now authenticate and use the Azure AI services. So one of the examples we have here is to authenticate with an API key. This is gonna be kind of the, the fast, easy route, which is just get the AI service URL, get the AI services key, and boom, you're on your way, you're going. And then we just call the text analytics. So in this scenario, we're just analyzing uh, and analyzing the text and we're just detecting language. And then we have one for authentication with Azure Active Directory. So the idea here is you have your Azure AI service endpoint. You then uh, are able to do a default credentials because that's gonna actually that's gonna end up using your Azure client tenant and client secret from your Azure uh, app registration. So that's gonna use your Azure app registration authentication. And again, we're gonna just analyze the text and determine what language this is. And then lastly, I just wanted to show being able to use the key vault while with the app registration. So the idea here is you'll have your key vault URL and your AI services URL. Again, you'll do your default Azure credentials. So you're gonna log in as that app registration. And then you're gonna call out to your key vault to get the secret and the secret name is going to be AI services key. And we're going to get that value and then we'll call analyzing the text with that key instead of the app registration. So if I were to come down here and run this, We should see that it authenticated with just the API key and it detected English. We run it for Active Directory and it detected the Spanish and the API key from the vault, it detected Japanese. And so those are all valid values. Cool, so we've authenticated. We've got some authentication. What else, what else can we do to secure it? One last thing we can do, or not maybe one last thing, but one other thing we can do is go into our networking tab and here we can actually specify if we want to use a virtual network. So creating a virtual network in the Azure environment, um, that way only services that live within that virtual network can then call this uh, Azure AI service, or we can also specify individual IP addresses. So only add my IP address. So the only person that can hit this endpoint is my IP address. That, that works pretty well if you need to also filter down who has access to these endpoints. And that's everything for Azure AI services and how to secure them. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.